Okay, so I'm at Let's Race today. I'm at base camp and iron testing day today and the exciting new Epic Iron and Epic Hybrid. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the tech itself, about the head, its design, what's so good or what is so epic about this new iron. Uh, and I'm gonna hit some shots, I'm gonna compare them to my gaming club. So we've got the new Epic Iron and the new Epic Pro. Okay, Epic Pro Iron. So, uh, having a look at this straight away, you know, a, let's talk about a little bit about the tech of the club. So, um, as with the Epic standard Epic Iron, we've got the XO Cage technology, um, which allows them to remove any surplus uh, weight from the head itself and then replace it with the carbon fiber inserts. They've also bored out a little bit more extra weight off the hosel as well to remove that weight and reposition it. Um, we've got the cup face technology. So again, similar to the standard Epic, you've got one millimeter in thickness at its thinnest part on the face itself. So that's gonna give that trampoline effect um, for added, for extra ball speeds when it's off center, okay? So, um, you know, the iron itself also has its the internal standing wave, which is a metal injected tungsten weight um, portal, which sits um, in the head itself, in the main body of the head to bring that CG back and slightly lower as well. And that's progressive through the set to help launch the lower irons correctly. Uh, and then the, the higher irons um, reposition. So it's not gonna sort of balloon those um, as well. So, okay, let's bring this iron over. Okay, so you can see the thinner top line. If I compare that to standard Epic Iron. So standard Epic on the left, Pro on the right. So you can see a slightly thinner top line. See the XO cage design at the back with the carbon fiber inserts. Okay, so the Pro is slightly uh, less offset, so that means the hosel is not sitting as far ahead of the leading edge of the club, so it'd be a bit more workable for somebody that likes to move the ball around a little bit. Uh, and also the lofts are slightly weaker on the Pro Iron as well, so help you launch the ball a little bit higher, get a little bit more spin. Okay, let's have a hit with this then. Straight away looks really good behind the, behind the ball. This is the Project X LZ 105 um, gram shaft, so stiff flex. So slightly heavier than the one that I tested in the standard Epic. Um, but this is the sort of more mid to high kick, lower launching club. Really solid, that cast head. Feels really good. Like the way the, the club sits behind the golf ball, that thinner top line, that less offset head as well. Feels good with this shaft, this 105 gram shaft. This is very similar in its weight to my steel fiber shaft. So Okay, so all in all, feels good. You know, it's a few shots hit with the, with the pro iron there. Um, I think the slightly weaker lofts have had some effect on the ball in its flight, but we're gonna have a little look at the data. Okay, but you know, nice looking club, looks great looking down on it. You know, very inviting to look down. Looks like I could shape this no problem, you know, with the, the minimal offset on the, on the head itself. But a great looking iron, feels good with that Project X. LZ shaft as well. So let's have a look at the data. Okay, when we take a look at the data then, this is the um, Pro Iron is the red, the top line there. As you can see the red line and its dispersion circle there as well. 
Okay, so let's have a look at the, just the basic stats then. So ball speed, probably a little bit lower, may not have been quite connecting with this as good as the, the CF16 iron. However, distance, yep, we can see a little bit lower than my standard. Um, and the spin again. So let's sort of, I can definitely conclude that the Epic Iron is a lower spinning club for sure. Spinning a lot lower than my CF16 head. However, that could be, you know, the LZ, the Project X LZ shaft as well, bringing the RP down, RPM down on the ball a little bit. Um, but this head and shaft combination is definitely a lower spinning club. Okay, launch is very similar. Um, so, you know, it's, it may be a straighter club for me, the Pro Iron, when compared to the orange line here, the bottom line, which is the standard Epic. Um, I certainly, with that less offset head, hit it straighter. Um, but not as fast. But you can't always look at this because, you know, it could all be just smoke and mirrors. Um, the weaker lofts are going to have some effect um, on its carry distance and also the spin as well. So slightly higher loft is going to give me a bit more spin. So looking at the two there, I'd say they're very similar in their performance. However, the Pro Iron for me and its less offset head was definitely a bit straighter. Okay, so there we go. That's the, the Pro Iron and its data. Um, so Epic itself, you know, a great addition to the Callaway family. They now have a superb range of irons, you know, right from the XR overs oversize onto the XR steel head range into the BB oversize into the Apex irons and now obviously introducing the new Epic Iron as well. So a fantastic stable um, that they have and offerings on iron heads. Get yourself down to your local Callaway fitter or a Callaway demo day and try out their family of irons. You've got all of the re reviews of the irons on my site as well, on my YouTube channel. So feel free to drop in and have a little look at some of the other videos.